Hey, what's going on? This is Chris of King's Body Jewelry. So, I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while now. Uh, we've talked about this before. I've never done it. So, this will be the first video where I'm going to go through um, some new plugs that we've got in here at the shop. So, I spent about 30 minutes walking around here picking out some pieces that we've got in last month or two that I thought were nice and thought I would show you all. So, I've got my pretty much my entire desk set up with plugs right here. So, I'm going to go through a bunch of new things that I thought were pretty nice and show you guys here. So, I guess starting off, I'm going to show you a few Urban Star pieces. Um, if you've never seen these before, these are the Urban Star Rosebuds. Really super nice pieces. These are all hand carved, and the price is super fair on these. Really inexpensive for the detail and craftsmanship in these. If you've never seen these, essentially the, um, the rosebud on the front is actually a little bit bigger than the plug. So, you know, it really makes them stand out a lot more than a regular set of plugs you know just because they're a little bit bigger so that's a bigger set right there here's about a set this is set in about five eighths of an inch um, and here is a smaller set in two gauge so you know even in the little sets you can still see the detail and you know it, it makes your it makes your plugs look two to three sizes bigger just because how big the rosebud on the front is um, and here's another type of rosebud they've got they call these the chocolate rosebuds these are, um, they're made out of sono wood, so they're kind of a light brown with a kind of a small hint of red sometimes. So, really pretty pieces, and the quality on these is almost 100% perfect for any handmade piece, you know. Uh, here's another set they've got called uh, the Chrysanthemum Plugs. These, just nuts. Look at the detail on that. Each one of those petals is hand carved. So, you know, like the rosebuds, they're a little bit bigger on the front, so they, you know, really stand out, really pretty set of plugs. Here's a set in zero gauge, so, in, you know, like I said on the other ones, even on the little ones, you can really see the detail in the craftsmanship on each piece. So, Urban Star has really nice pieces, so definitely check their, uh, check their stuff out on our site. Um, here is something we've had requests on for years now. Finally got these in bigger sizes. It's the old Septum Mustache. Uh, if you've never seen these before, essentially, you just uh, you throw them in through your septum, and you have an instant mustache. Pretty epic. I'm actually going to make a video on these here at some point, throwing one of these in. So, uh, I'll make a video on that here one of these days. Uh, here is a, another set. We've had these in the past, these big spirals, these big wood spirals. Um, we've had these in the past, and we, get, we just got these, a new batch in stock, so I thought I'd show these. We've got these from 6 gauge all the way up to an inch, so... If you're looking for really, you know, rare, bigger pieces that aren't crazy expensive, you should definitely check these out. Um, let's see, and here's, I've got a few other wood pieces here to go through. Um, let's see, we'll go through these jack, uh, these jackfruit tunnels. These are really pretty pieces. Jackfruit, if you've never seen jackfruit wood, it's kind of a, uh, kind of a deep yellow, lightish, with lightish brown kind of tones through it, so... These are, this is a new batch we just got in. It's concave, so it actually, you know, it's totally smooth and seamless right there as a concave through the tunnel. So, really nice pieces, and like I said, jackfruit, really pretty wood. It's a really strange color for wood. Um, let's see, now we've got these concave tamarind plugs. These are really nice. The, the grain on these is incredible. Uh, they, they do vary quite a bit, but, you know, like with all wood pieces, they will always vary a little bit in size and color. But, you know, these are really nice pieces, and the grain on these is just incredible. And these are concave, too, so the whole front and back of these has an actual concave on them, which, if you don't know what that means, it's just kind of like a bowl shape on the front of it. So here's another set. This is about an inch and, an inch and an eighth right here. So, you know, they do, they will vary a bit. Some are kind of have, like, kind of grayer tones. Some won't be as lined. Some will be really heavily lined. But, you know, they do vary a little bit. Here are the uh, Buffalo Horn uh, Borneo uh, plugs. So these actually kind of have like a little, I guess I guess you'd call it like a button kind of thing carved in the front. So it kind of gives them like, you know, more of a 3D kind of look. Um, let's see. These pieces right here are incredible. When we got these in, I had to get a set of these for myself the second they came in the door here. Uh, these are these huge ebony flower plugs. Look at that. Just incredible. The... The quality on these, I would give it a 10 out of 10. These are just perfect. Um, and these are made out of ebony wood. If you've never seen ebony, it's pretty much a deep black. Sometimes we'll have light grains of, you know, kind of brown through it, light swirls. So, 
like I said, detail on these, perfect. I mean, just perfect. Here's a set in about, uh, these are about an inch and an eighth right here. So, you know, and here is a half inch set. So, even on the smaller ones, you can still see the detail really nicely. And, let's see, let's get into some shell pieces here. These right here are a showstopper. These are some Mother of Pearl plugs. This is a set of 3 inch Mother of Pearl inlays. It's just incredible. If, if, these don't, if these don't shock you, I don't know what will. Like, the detail on these is perfect, and you can really just see the, you know, the difference in, you know, this is totally real natural Mother of Pearl, so you can really see the difference in all the color tones of the Mother of Pearl. So, and on, with, with shell pieces, you know, when you turn it against the light, you can kind of see how it shimmers a little bit. And, um, you know, shell really has a really cool look when it hits the light. You know, it kind of shimmers as you turn it against the light. Uh, so those are those big pieces there, those three inch pieces. Here's about inch and three eighths. Um, and here is a set in, I believe these are 11 sixteenths here. So, like I said, really nice. Mother of Pearl will vary a little bit in color, but beautiful pieces. Here is some abalone shell. Uh, if you've never seen abalone before, abalone has a lot of color variation, which is really cool. Um, some will be, or, I mean, most of them have just like these where they have a lot of different color tones all in one, but most will have green, blue, light pink, purple, uh, tons of different colors, and also when you turn them against the light, just like the Mother of Pearl, they do kind of shimmer a little bit when you turn them against the light. So, and we finally got these in bigger sizes, you know, it's so hard to get these in bigger sizes just because, you know, um, some, like the variance on these, it, you know, you can only carve out a certain size usually. So getting in, getting these this big, it's really hard to find, and we finally got them in in bigger sizes. Here's a set at an uh, inch and an eighth, so you can see the smaller sizes, and here is five eighths. How good you can see that. Um, okay, so there's some shell pieces. So let's go back into some more wood here. Um, here's another set like those other ebony pieces I had earlier. Here is a set of carved hearts. I don't know how good you can see that. So just like those flowers earlier, ebony is deep black, and you know these have a you know hand carved heart in the middle. Uh, here's some more ebony. These are our concave ebonies. So, like those other ones I was showing you earlier, they do have a concave on both sides. Really smooth and really deep black, really pretty color. Um, here's a smaller set. This is about an inch and a quarter. And, let's see. These are really nice here. Bloodwood. Uh, if you've never seen Bloodwood, Bloodwood is a kind of deep, deep red with kind of, you know, a brownish tone to it. Uh, these are our concave bloodwoods we've been getting in, really nice, and this last batch we just got in has some really dark, uh, really dark red uh, color tones. Here's, here's about a set in an inch, and you know, these are concave too, just like the other ones. Alright, let's get to the Tiger Ebony. Tiger Ebony, it's, uh, you know, kind of like the other Ebony, it has deep black, and then you know, mo most of these are kind of this style where it's deep black and then swirls of brown throughout, which kind of, obviously they call it tiger ebony because, like a tiger has stripes, these kind of have a stripe kind of look throughout them. Here's a bigger set just to show you the, um, show you kind of the difference. This this is a more brown set here, so, you know, like I said, wood will always vary, but, you know, we always do try to match, match them up the best we can. And, um, let's see. We've had these in stock before, these multi-wood inlaid teardrops here, you know. Uh, we've had these in stock for a few year now, years now. Just got a new batch of these, and we're getting these up to three inches now. Um, here's a smaller set, so you can see what they look like. And this is a five-eighths five of an inch set right here. And uh, these were pretty cool. I, I really like these, these coffins. Uh, like the teardrops, these are a strange shape. And I swear, the second we got these in, they reminded me of Dracula right off the bat. I had to throw on some uh, some of that music from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Really cool piece. If you look up something really unique that's an odd size, these are pretty cool. Here's a uh, here's a smaller set. These are about an inch. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? We got some uh, some new acrylics with some with a lot of colors in them. 
Get these rainbows in. Pretty. And we got some, um, for all you Rastafarians out there, Rastafari. Got some Rastafarian plugs. And, uh, let's see. This is, we've been getting some new Gorilla Glass pieces in. If you've never seen Gorilla Glass, I'm actually going to make a separate video on Gorilla Glass here soon. Uh, these are just incredible. I don't know if you've seen or not. I've actually got a set of these in myself right now. These are their blue and yellow power plugs. Just incredible. The detail on these is perfect. You know, in glass, all glass is handmade. But of all the glass I personally have ever seen, Gorilla Glass is the highest quality, without a doubt, of any glass I've ever seen. Uh, here's another set of their power plugs. Um, their power plugs, they always have, like, you know, multicolors mixed together. So, and on the back, the back is actually a pretty solid color. You, you can actually kind of, like, see the solid color that really stands out when you're wearing them. But most people wear them in the front like this, so that you can actually see all the variations throughout the plug there, you know. So, so those are, these are the lava tone ones with the orange and yellow. Uh, here's a set. We got a couple different colors of these in. These uh, single flare color fronts, um, you know, on the middle, it actually is, you know, just regular glass tone, you know, just totally clear, but they've colored the front, so, you know, you there's all kind of different colors of these. We've got quite a few of these in different colors, um, and these are super nice. These are the concave obsidian plugs. Uh, obsidian is a volcanic glass, and uh, these really stand out. Like, when the light hits these, you can really see the... Uh, like the concave almost kind of reflects everything back out. Really high quality pieces. These are perfect. And you know, like I said, the Gorilla Glass, it it is more expensive, but it's definitely every, you get your money's worth out of every penny you spend on Gorilla. The the quality is just perfect. Um, and let's see here. We've got some. I've been looking to get these for years now at fair prices. Um, you know, stones, getting big stones in, in over an inch, it's, it's number one, it's hard to do, and number two, if you do get them, they're always incredibly overpriced. We finally got a few batches of different kinds of, types of stones from, you know, that are over an inch, which we have these from 8 gauge all the way to 2 inch now. So, um, so here's, this is about inch and 3 eighths. This is the uh, deep green eye stones. And like I said, totally fairly priced. These are not super expensive like other pieces you'll see. So, and the quality on these is really nice. Um, let's see. Got those. We got um, these pink halides. Like I said, now we've got all these up to two inch. And these are an old classic style here, synthetic turquoise. So, if you've never seen these, you know, it's a really pretty, really pretty color. And it's not the incredible expensive price of tur regular turquoise. And, uh, let's see, I think that's about it, except for one last thing. These aren't a set of plugs, this is just bondage tape. Um, if you've never heard of bondage tape, what it does for ear stretching, yes, bondage tape is good to wrap people up with, but it also is good for uh, stretching your ears, doing the tape wrapping method. Uh, we finally got in a ton of bondage tape. We've had requests for this stuff for years, finally got it in, um, and, you know, bondage tape, it's a non-adhesive, so it doesn't stick to anything like it only sticks to itself so you can put it on your skin your hair anything it's not going to stick it only sticks to itself which is why it's perfect for the tape wrapping method so anyways check this out if you're wanting to do some tape wrapping we do have this in stock now and I believe that is everything okay so anyways yeah I just thought I would make this video to show a few new things we got in so I'm gonna put a link in the description of all the you know all the links to our site on all these if you want to check them out so uh, well, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope all is good. I'll see you all later. Peace.